Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. A victory over Sean Porter. What do you think that puts you now? Does that put you right back where you was before? Because you got a lot of people who doesn't seem to give you the credit you deserve for everything you've accomplished in your career. Do you think after a victory with Sean Porter, you're right back? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I never left. I never left. You feel me? It's just, you know, getting that world title back. And that's it. And um, I'm always going to be a top fighter, you know. I give fighters their biggest paydays, you know. I, I, spill up, I fill up the seats, I get views. So at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And you think that's the reason that he approached you the way he did in the ring? Like out of all people, he just walked up in your ring and tried to act like you was an easy guy to just step to like that. What, make, what well, makes him think that you're the kind of guy that he that can was, just step in the ring and be disrespectful? Well, that was his moment of glory, you know what I mean? That's, he got more famous off that than any fight he ever did probably. So, you know, it is what it is. He's an opportunist. And that's what it's all about. Danny, where do you rank Sean Porter as your toughest opponent in your career? Um, I don't know. I haven't been in there with him yet. But um, I, I've been in some big fights. So um, I, I just got to see. I just got to see. I can't rank him until I, until I fight him. Everybody, I mean, Porter talks about and other people talk about the work rate. Right? Yeah. How, how many punches around right. more than the average work rate. Right? For somebody who has the skills and how to punch you. Yeah. I mean, is that just more opportunities for, you know, for openings? Absolutely. Well, you know, in boxing, they say the more you throw, the more you uh, open to get hit. So, and all, all valuing punches is not, it's, it's, it got to be effective. If you're throwing, that don't, that don't mean it's effective. So, I'm the sharper boxer, cleaner, um, I land the cleaner punches. That's more of my style. And I throw a lot of punches, too. You know, I, I throw a lot of punches. I throw more than 600 punches a fight, so that's a lot. Right. Exactly. So we know we prepared ourselves um, for 12 hard rounds. I'm the shit. Deadly, I'm man. the shit. That's why I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> little fly trying to get on me. So um, yeah. So uh, we pre we prepared ourselves for whatever. Sean Porter is also getting help from uh, Barry Hunter. What do you think about that? Where Kenny Porter is getting other assistance? You no, know, it don't matter. matter. At the end of the day, it don't matter. Um, I already fought Peterson, so uh, Peterson and uh, Peterson and uh, Porter, two way different fighters. Do you see a change in fighters? Like the first round usually is like a feeling out process, but once somebody feels your power. Do you notice, like any of your recent fights, somebody starts backing up? Absolutely. I'm thinking about, like, you know, Sean Porter, you know, how he went down against Broner, and, you know, I think you have a better left hook, a harder left hook. Absolutely. Um, you know, after four rounds, you, you can really see what type of shape a fighter is in, how, how really strong they are, can their power, the speed carry the rest of the fight. Do you, you know? think something like that happened in the Thurman fight? Because, like, once he felt your power, he started like, boxing? Yeah, more? absolutely. Absolutely. So, um... You know, it's all about the willpower after a certain amount of rounds, and you know, I carry that. And of course, you got to be prepared for either style if he comes forward or if he tries to box and yeah. use the jab or something for everything. Yeah, we, we, we got a perfect sparring. We got guys who just come forward and just put pressure on you, bigger, heavy guys. We got guys who try to box a little bit, you know, um, use their jab coming in like how he does. And, uh,. Yeah, we just we just prepare for whatever, man. We just prepare for whatever. Are you thinking about putting your own video out, kind of to respond to that one of a uh, kind of trying to mimic Sean Porter? We ain't worried about it, man. Get those Instagram man. views. Yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> I already got the views. He needs the views. Right. I let him do that. <laughs> now, Danny.